it. Final seconds. Long range shot from Carroll, no good. So we've got 20 minutes in the books of our championship game and Nancy Wilson will walk off the court at halftime with a 37 to 25 lead over Western Carolina, a team that has been to the championship the last two years under Kelly Harper and they're in the championship today as we check in with Nate Ross. Thanks a lot, Tom. Coach, we're here with Nancy Wilson, obviously from the College of Charleston. Both teams shot the ball very well from three and from two. You dominated on the board. That's been the difference in the first half. We're playing well. We're playing real good defense, playing very hard. You know, what we have to keep in mind is Western was down at halftime yesterday. So they're a very good team. And uh, we've got to come out and do some more of this. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. Thank you. Nancy Wilson, 20 minutes away from a chance to go to the big dance. We'll send it back to you, Tom. Eddie Mox, the three-time defending champs in the Southern Conference Tournament. Gertie, three. See, Gertie, as the defense is slow to rotate out, she's set. She has her feet set, her hands are ready. Nancy Wilson's team getting it done against some of the better players in the conference, especially Shanara Hollenquest, player of the year in the Southern Conference, held her to seven points. And they limited her touches. Whenever she did touch, they doubled down on her. She had to kick it back out. Brooke Johnson today also struggling to score. Four in the first half has missed both of her shot attempts in the second half. Jones on the offensive glass. Deidre Jones so big on the glass offensively. Fall away. No good. Rebound is Hughes. College of Charleston, although they aren't doubling the post, as you see Deidre Jones get another one off a transition bucket. They may not be doubling the post so much, but they have those guards. Kelly Harper needs for Eaton and Brooke Johnson to get active offensively. And there's another basket. Tony Gurdy. Menendez ran into a double team. Cotsella got a fingertip on it. Hustles after it. Goes in for the layup and scores. Great read by Brooke Katsella. And the College of Charleston getting great guard play from Gertie and Hughes. According to Nancy Wilson, these two make this team go. As I mentioned before, she said it's such a luxury having two point guards on the floor at the same time. And look at how they balance each other out. It's great shooting, both putting up points, getting to the boards, and the assists are even. They're, they're virtually interchangeable. Western Carolina trying to return to the title game for the first time since 2005. But if Jade Hughes continues her play, it's going to be very difficult. But the skill set is there to play at the next level. Western Carolina 10 of 19 from the floor in the second half. And for the second time in the game, Jade Hughes goes off the glass on the jump shot. With just over four minutes remaining in the championship game. The winner goes to the NCAA Tournament. Western hasn't been there since 2005. The College of Charleston has never been there. Three-pointer from Williams. So we'll take a timeout. College of Charleston trying to get back in it. Erica Williams for three. Four points in total in the championship game. Wilson in the huddle. You can't tell the players too many things. Very emphatic. We cannot make defensive mistakes. We have one timeout left and this is how we're going to execute the press. Very matter of fact, but didn't tell him a hundred different things. Very smart. Hughes trying to get by Swain and two other defenders. Shot no good. Moy got it back, put it up and scored. You see with Moy going straight up against Brooke Johnson, who does a nice job of keep. So there was a foul on the play in the battle for the basketball, and the College of Charleston has it. Williams. They're getting trapped down on the baseline. Entering that ball low, which is where a press wants you to enter it. They're taking away easy reversal option. Moy has to kick it back out. Gertie right back to her teammate Moy, who knocks it down and a fist pump after the shot. Gertie wisely pulling it back out. Setting up for the three. Williams rattles it home. Hughes, gonna have to hurry here. Gertie, three-pointer, and she got it! Gertie with the step back move behind the arc. Nice job of lining that shot up. That was a tough one, but Western Carolina pushing the ball. Turnover, back to the College of Charleston, and they will use their final timeout with 8.3 seconds to go in the game. 
Western Carolina trying to pass over the top of the zone press. Getting a little lazy with the ball. You want to make College of Charleston play chase with you. You're almost better off hanging on to it and forcing them to foul. But how about the step back move? Every second pressure's here. Gertie to the baseline. The layup is good. She flew by everybody. Inbound to Johnson, nearly stolen by Hughes. Final desperation shot is no good, would not have counted anyway, and we are going to overtime in the Women's Southern Conference Championship game. Holly to Charleston, not giving up at all. And on this replay, Tony Gertie using her speed, getting the basket. College of Charleston, I mean, Western Carolina players don't want to foul, but you've got to at least contest that shot. She had an easy basket for the tie. Tony Gertie, 18 points to close out regulation. That equals her total in both of the two previous meetings this season. See Charleston in regulation. First they hit a three to cut this lead down to two. That was Nikki Williams. And then the great step back move with another three. Tony Gertie, they fought back, swinging all the way out. And the last second shots by Tony Gertie to time this up.